Hi guys, this is Kel, and today we're going to do a new HTA by Coach Kel myself. Now let's study the CNN uh, Fear and Greed Index versus some charts, and you will notice that there's something maybe happening in the next few days. All right, let's go into details. Let's go. All right, disclaimer apply as usual. Okay, let's look at the CNN um, this Fear and Greed Index. Now this is the index that I always use for uh, getting myself into a potential big setup. All right, now the fear and greed index as of today, um, 18th of July is trading at 80 right now. This is a pretty high level. As a matter of fact, right, last week was still at extreme greed. And of course, one month ago is still extreme greed. So the market has been quite greedy over the last one and a half months. And of course, one year ago, we were at a fear level. So if you look at the index right now, you can see it right here, okay? In terms of the market momentum, we are really away from the moving average. We are now basically moving. Uh, we are now, let's take a look. Okay, get the best of this. Okay, a bit more to go. Okay, oops. Okay, now the thing is this. The um, S&P is at 45.22 and the 125-day MA is at, one, is at 4145. Now that is basically 400 points from it. Now you can see that most of the time when the moving average is like three far away from the moving average, the price will come back to come together and converge into the moving average. So you can see that it happens every time. So if you ask me as well, right, I believe that it's a matter of time, this S&P would pull back to the moving average. And of course, based on what we're seeing right now, it's at 41, 45 level. And in terms of the stock price strength, we're at 52 weeks high level right now, really incredible. And the stock price breath, we are almost at the high level that what happened back in February. We all know that in February, that's where the market basically came off quite a fair bit, right? So will we be seeing the same thing? I think so. That's the reason why I'm informing traders to be very careful. Now, the five-day average put and call, oh my goodness, at an extreme level. This is the lowest level for the last entire year. That means that everyone is now basically very into call options, no one buying the put. And that's the thing here. It's up. extremely greed is going on. And the market volatility, interestingly, is also below the moving average. And the safe haven demand, well, we are actually above the 0%, which means that the complacency is there. Greed is still in the picture. And of course, very important now, the um, junk bond demand is also at the high level. That means that people don't mind taking risks for the junk bonds in exchange for money. So with all this and above, it just tells me that we have to be careful on the long side. And we change the timeline. Now, this is the one-year chart. And I basically take the highest point to give you the reading later because this is whereby usually when everybody is so complacent and it's all that greed level, usually the market will do a pullback. So I've done this for you. Let's take a look at my chart right now. You can see that these are the dates. Now, I purposely, the date is here 16th of August example. So you want to show you the impact, right? I put, I put a line at 15th August. So same thing again, the impact, the next impact came in on the 1st of December. So I show you the 30th of November and so forth. So you can see over the screen right now, you can see that every time when the indicator, the CNN fear and greed indicator is at near the high between 80 to 85, that is where the market has surged up, right? And of course, you can see every time when this happened, everybody is pretty complacent. They are buying, buying shares, buying stocks, and expect the price to go higher. And incredibly, on the day that you reverse the sell, right, you can see that the market really, really um, sell down after that. So which means that if we track the fear and greed index and we know that we are near the high, we can expect a bit of pulling back very soon. But of course, how can we know that when will be the right day to do some selling? So I did some research for you and if you look at my chart right now, you will understand this. So putting back the same dates again over the last four times, okay, you can see what happened. My indicator, right, will be all the way yellow color, as you can see, pretty cool. All right, all the way yellow. Okay, and then what happened? You can see on the bottom, my KSI will be actually from turning from green to red will be the best time to go in it. So for KSI here, green to red, it was a bit later. So it doesn't give a full impact of this. But you look at my KRW and my KCX, they came in earlier. So when I my bar turns to red, that is a first signal there. And of course, if my KRW turns to red also, that's my second signal, that's where I add position. And of course, if my KSI and my KCX, those turning 
red and blue, I'll definitely add on a heavier weightage on this. Got an idea now? Okay, so let's go through this motion again, see whether you can get with me. So first of all, we want to see the bar turning red color first. Okay, so let's try this again. So back in this uh, November 30th, that's where the, the CNN indicator was at a high level. My bar turns to red, okay? My KSI didn't turn red yet, but my KRW turned red the next day. So that is where you can sell the market initially. And of course, you can see that the market did try to recover over this period of time, but my KSI turns red and my KRW maintain red. Hence, therefore, look at the selling. This is amazing, all right? So let's repeat the same thing again. So this is the CNN, uh, whereby the CNN fee and greed index at high, that will for the first red candle. And you can see my KR, KRW, my KSI, both were red at that point. So after that, they sell, you look at the market, the market slide down from 33, 34,000. Yes, slide all the way down to 31,500. Now think about this. From here itself at 34,000, okay, at 34,000, it slide all the way down to 31,500. Now that's a lot of money. So while we're looking at this itself, you can see it happened again where the bar turns red color recently and my KSI was red and my KCX was, my KRW was red. So we have some selling, but this round, the, the downside was only like less than five, 800 points, okay? So for us right now, what are we looking at? We're looking at the next move. So if you look at my indicator, you can see over here, I'm gonna expand this for you. Now, I'm just waiting for my color change over from yellow to red. That'll be the first signal. And of course, if my KRW turns to red or my KSI turns to red, that'll be the second signal. So at the moment now, right, we are not ready to sell down yet. Not ready, but we are just from the corner. So with the CNN fee and green index now, trading at a high level and our bars are already preparing for this. I think it's just a matter of time we'll see this. Now the CNN level is at 80, right? So I just think that by the last time we saw the high was somewhere around 82, if not around 83, yeah? So I think we are just around the corner. So guys, stand by for this big movement. You're going to make a lot of money, all right? Guys, this is Kel signing off. Take care and have a good time. And do do me a favor. If you like this video, please put a comment and share with your friends. Bye-bye.